Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to go from this to this all for free and resolve. Pretty sure you can do this in the free version too, so that's good. So I didn't use a script or anything for this video, so there'll probably be a bunch of jump cuts. So yeah, okay, back to it. First, there's a couple things you have to download. The Max Saturation Power Grade by Miguel Santana, and then Paul Doerr's DCTLs. After you get those installed, we'll uh, hop into Resolve. Okay, so now that we're in Resolve, uh, go ahead and add three nodes, color space transform, and then find whatever camera you use. For our second node, color space transform, and then Cineon Film Log. So I saw this one video by Blaine Westrop, and I hope that's how you say his name. I'm sorry if I'm butchering it. And he basically used this uh, method to color grade, and so that's what I'm doing here. Now we'll head over to LUTs and then find film looks. I like to use the Kodak one. There you go. So now you have a pretty decent starting base to color grade. So now that we have our three nodes, we'll add one node and then we'll go to wherever we have our uh, max saturation power grade and we'll just crank this up so you can see what it did and this is just the LUT and then this is the power grade at 100 percent and as you can see it's very saturated and doesn't look that good so we'll put it down to about 0.3 and it's just enough where it still adds a decent amount, but it's not just insane. I think for the aerial video though, I did put it at 100 or to its max because I really wanted everything to pop. Now we have this and that looks pretty good, but we'll go in and just start kind of tweaking some settings. So yeah, that's using the max saturation power grade. And so this is it with just the LUT. And then this is it with everything we just did to it. So now we'll just apply it to some other clips. And yeah, that's using the max saturation power grade, and I really like it. So DCTLs, they're basically just effects that you can download for Resolve. So we'll go to our effects tab and just type in DCTL and then drag it over and then nothing's happened, but that's okay. Click the list here and let's hit FI and we want film density. We'll crank this up to 100 and you can see that the colors have become a lot more rich and saturated. So we'll just kind of tweak to what we like. And so, yeah, that's basically it. It's all free in Resolve and you have to download a couple things. You can go ahead and even add like grain, halation, and all that sort of stuff too to your clips. You can get some really, really good results. And this is the stuff I've been using for some of my work. Yeah, I, that's the video. I hope uh, you liked it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me and I will try to get back to you. I'll post all the links down below. Yeah, okay, bye.